तो हाउ कमीशन फॉर हायर एजुकेशन रिसर्च विल इम्प्रूव रिसर्च सिनेरियो इन इंडिया रिसर्च वॉट रिसर्च सिनेरियो इन इंडिया well precisely by allowing universities and institutes and various things to do research we don't think people are terrible and if they are given facilities and possibilities and then of course resources would be required resources private uh, and uh, government resources a lot of resources that need to be required and at the moment it seems that they are beginning to be available But do you think that it has more to do with the psychology? Because we have got into a system where we think uh, research is something which is different from academic. Because that's why universities do get fund. Universities there are a lot of funds available to universities. So, but still, research is very less in India. Look, we are born human beings, as clever as any human beings in the world. If anybody can do new things, so can we. only thing is we shouldn't stop it we should create systems in which it's possible to do new things and you see them emerge so uh, is it uh, more uh, political intervention is somewhere doing harm to the whole education system in india agree with it bureaucratic and political bureaucratic and it is quite common for for political people to influence who should be appointed a vice chancellor who should be appointed this i think all that that is why i wanted this to be that kind of a commission now that unfortunately it seems may not come i don't yeah. know you see it's a pity that it doesn't come because that means people will always think that then central government or this government or state government state governments are e- equally obnoxious in terms of interfering so interference is from everywhere and that has to be reduced so sir uh, how do you think the current situation can be improved in terms of actual delivery of quality teaching well you see if you're talking of universities universities teaching improves if there is meaningful research going on in great universities a lot of teaching is not only through lectures it's because people are working and the students are working with the researchers that is the which improves the quality and uh, and then the rest is that you have to have a focus on that and uh, and do this uh, university should be a place with tremendous amount of traffic between disciplines people taking one course here another course there a new kind of a degree entirely which doesn't exist no ugc should come that you can't give a degree in this so a radical change is required in india yes system. and that is why so sir, uh, according to you what are the key challenges faced by indian higher education presently well that's what i told you the key challenges are there is too much interference there are not enough resources there are not teachers of teachers produced we have had too much emphasis on on uh, iits have become became more or less uh, undergraduate factories okay good undergraduate factories but not great researchers but some universities uh, felt poor cousins of iits they didn't have enough money enough resources and so on i think we have to move in that direction